And welcome to this video. I'd like to go over how to make a spool like this in sheet metal so that it can um, flatten out quite nicely. Uh, it can be a little bit difficult using convert to sheet metal or other functions uh, to get this to flatten out. So let's go through how we do it. I'm going to start with a new part. And on the front plane, I'll uh, go ahead and create a sketch. All right, with that sketch there, I can make this for construction. Mention this to be six inches. We'll also make these points six inches tall. And I can even make this something like six inches long with a radius of one inch. Okay, with everything fully constrained, I will uh, mirror entities. And I've got my lasso on, mirror that about that. With that being fully constrained, I'll rebuild my sketch and I'll choose Control 7. And here, my sketch on the top plane. What we're going to be doing is actually a sweep path. You may think a revolve would be more appropriate, however, uh, we need to do a sweep or else we'll have a hard time getting this thing to flatten out. So again, we'll make this coincident. We'll choose a pierce point here, and I can add in a center line just like that. And I'm going to make a very, very, very close angle, be kind of like a rip. 0.01, excuse me, 0.01 degrees should be fine. And now here's where the magic happens. Insert, sheet metal, swept flange, this profile along this path. I can choose my uh, thickness. Maybe I can go with uh, 16 gauge. And of course I can choose uh, which direction to have my thickness if you can see when I choose reverse. I'm going to put the thickness on the inside of the sketch. And uh, and I can even choose uh, an appearance if I would like to. I think uh, usually the spools and things like that, uh, brushed steel looks pretty good. And now I can, whenever I wish, simply go in the sheet metal tab and flatten. You notice it even gives me the lines as to where to bend. So this should be a very useful tool if you're working with flares or other things that uh, are a little bit more formed in nature. Uh, so, hope, uh, again, hope this was helpful. If this was, please subscribe. I'd like to also make a rendering of this in Blender. This is not a tutorial on how to use Blender, but I'll simply time-lapse the rendering. And if you're interested in learning how to make images, you can see my uh, video series in the description on how to actually use Blender to make renderings of these parts. See you in the next video. Thank you.